Here we have to solve this system of equations for x, y and z. Here x, y and z are in the denominator. This is not the standard form which we use for solving equations. So what I am going to do is, I will put p is equal to 1 by x, q is equal to 1 by y and r is equal to 1 by z. Then the equations become 2p plus 3q plus 10r is equal to 4. Uh, 4p minus 6q plus 5r is equal to 1. And this is 6p plus 9q minus 20r is equal to 2. This I can write in matrix form as uh, 2, 3, 10, 4, minus 6, 5, uh, 6, 9, minus 20 into P, Q, R is equal to 4, 1, 2. I am going to call this matrix as A this matrix has x and this matrix has b. So I got a into x is equal to b. So let me see if I can solve it or not. For that I need to find what is the value of determinant of a. Determinant of a is equal to 2 into determinant of I am expanding it along row 1 I get 2 into determinant minus 6, 5, 9, minus 20 uh, minus 3 into determinant of 4, 5, 6, minus 20 plus 10 into determinant of 4, minus 6, 6, 9 uh, this is equal to 2 times of 120 minus 45 minus 3 times of minus 80 minus 30 plus 10 into 36 plus 36 this is equal to 120 minus 45 will be uh, 75 75 into 2 will be 150 minus I have a minus 10 inside so this will become plus 80 plus 30 is 110 so into 3 will be 330 plus 10 times of 36 plus 36 which will be 72 so this I can write as 720 this is equal to uh, 0 0 uh, two. this will be 1200 determinant of A is not is equal to 0 so matrix A is invertible so if I multiply both sides of this equation with A inverse, I'll get A inverse AX is equal to A inverse B, which means that X is equal to A inverse B. In this way, I can find what is X. So for this, I need to find what is A inverse. I have already determinant of A with me. Now to find the adjoint of A, we know. Uh, adjoint of A is equal to transpose of the cofactor matrix so if this is a cofactor matrix then transpose of this what will be the cofactor matrix it is the matrix of uh, the minus of all elements multiplied with minus 1 power i plus j of that corresponding element where i is the row number and j is the column number so for the first element I'll get minus 1 power 2 which will be plus 1 so plus into determinant of minus 6, 5, 9, minus 20 uh, for the second element I'll get minus determinant of uh, 4, 5, 6, minus 20 for the third element I'll get plus determinant of uh, 4, minus 6, 6, 9 and similarly in the second row I'll get minus determinant of 3, 10 9 minus 20 plus determinant of 2 10 6 minus 20 uh, minus determinant of uh, 2 3 6 9 
निसली प्लस डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ थ्री टेन माइनस सिक्स फाइव दिस विल बी माइनस डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ टू टेन फोर फाइव एंड दिस विल बी प्लस डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ टू थ्री फोर माइनस सिक्स सो दिस इज अर को फैक्टर मेट्रिक्स एंड ट्रांसपोर्स ऑफ इट विल गिव अस एडजॉइंट ऑफ ए सो इफ आई एक्सपेंड ऑल दिस टू बाई टू डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट आई गेट एडजॉइंट ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर्टी फाइव दैट विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव हियर आई गेट माइनस ऑफ माइनस एटी माइनस थर्टी माइनस ऑफ वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन हियर आई गेट थर्टी सिक्स प्लस थर्टी सिक्स सो दिस विल बी सेवेंटी टू दिस विल बी माइनस सिक्सटी माइनस नाइन्टी सो माइनस वन फिफ्टी दिस विल बी माइनस फोर्टी माइनस सिक्सटी सो इट इज माइनस हंड्रेड आई एम सॉरी आई हैव अ माइनस वन फिफ्टी इन साइड एंड आई हैव अ नेगेटिव साइन फोर्थ साइड सो दिस विल बी माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन फिफ्टी एंड दिस विल बी माइनस ऑफ एटीन माइनस एटीन इज जीरो हेयर आई गेट फिफ्टीन माइनस माइनस सिक्सटी which means 15 plus 60 so i'll get 75 this will be uh, 10 minus 40 10 minus 40 is minus 30 so i'll get minus of minus 30 and here i'll get minus 12 minus 12 it is minus 24 we need this is our cofactor matrix and we need to take the transpose of it so this means that uh, adjoint of a is equal to 75 this is 110 this is minus 100 this is 30 72 0 Minus twenty four. So we got adjoint of A and we got determinant of A. So A inverse is equal to adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. It is equal to one by twelve hundred into this matrix seventy five one fifty seventy five one hundred and ten minus hundred thirty. Seventy two zero minus twenty four. This is the value of a inverse. So now to find x, I have to calculate what is a inverse into b. I have b is four one and two. So x will be x is equal to a inverse into b. It is equal to one by twelve hundred into this matrix seventy five one fifty. Seventy-five, one hundred and ten minus hundred, thirty, seventy-two, zero minus twenty-four, multiplied by B matrix, which is four, one, and two. So it is four, one, two. If I multiply it, I'll get one by twelve hundred and two. Multiplying the two matrices gives me. Seventy-five into four, which is three hundred plus one fifty plus one fifty. Uh, this will be four hundred and forty minus hundred plus sixty. Uh, this will be two um, eighty-eight plus zero minus. Forty-eight. So uh, x is equal to one by twelve hundred of uh, this is six hundred. This is five hundred minus hundred, which is four hundred, and this is two eighty-eight um, minus forty-eight, which will be two forty. 
if I take 1, one by 1200 inside, I'll get 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 5. So, we got P, Q, R is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 5. Now we have taken the assumption that in the beginning we have assumed P is equal to 1 by X, Q is equal to 1 by Y and R is equal to 1 by Z. So this means that 1 by X, 1 by Y, 1 by Z. This matrix is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 5. So x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 5. This is the solution of the system of equations.